What is up? Joshua Casper here with another Ableton Live very quick tutorial. This one's on set little flags. <laughs> That's what I call them. Uh, they're called locators though. Um, so if I want a locator here, I'll set this here and then I come over to the set button and hit set. Uh, or I can click it to get rid of it or I can right click in here and say add locator. Now, why would you want to do this? Who really knows? So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this beef. Okay, because that's where the beef of my track is. And then I'm going to come here, nine bars, set another one, right click, rename, and add it uh, vocal section. Section. And you can imagine if you have a, a more, if I have right here just drum loops, I can put that in too, just real quick. Or just come over here and click set on another one and rename just drums, drum loop or something. And now we have this visual aid here, which is really kind of cool. If you don't have like, you know, it doesn't look real pretty here. You can now write some stuff in here and say, you know, this is where the beef is, this is where the vocal section should be, and this is where just a drum loop. Another cool thing is, is if you use this cursor, or if you click on the flags while the track is playing, it will jump to that section seamlessly, just like as if you were over here launching clips. So let's go ahead and try that. This is just a track I'm working on. Uh, should be done fairly soon. You know, if you know any good vocalists, I need some vocalists and some original vocals for this track. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and play around with this uh, this little flag or whatever the hell they're called. As you can see, that's pretty sweet. Now you can either click on the flag to make it jump to that section, or you can use this to go, you can use these to go sequentially through your, your, your set. But anyway, I hope that helps with something. We'll see you next time.